हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू क्लासिक एजुकेशन यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम महेश पुंडीबीज ए फैकल्टी मेंबर फॉर यू पी एस सी एस्परेंट्स एज वेल एज फॉर बैंकिंग एस्परेंट्स सो ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस एंड ऑल्सो क्लासिक एजुकेशन हैज कंप्लीटेड ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ इस एक्सलेंस टीचिंग ओके इन द कॉम्पिटेटिव फील्ड सो ऑन दिस टू ऑस्पिशियस ओकेजन वी हैव अरेंज्ड a free course for those students who are preparing for banking examination as well as for ias examination so on this sunday we are going to conduct test for both upsc as well as for banking examination so those students who want to grab this opportunity have to download our app that is classic education app and you have to register your names on it so now the most important question that is why to join classic for your bank exam preparation okay so here that is the title of today's video so here i have written some of the important points and one is nothing but the first one is we have revised and updated syllabus that means you all know that those who are preparing for ibps or any of sbi examination any of the bank sector examination for after certain duration of time the syllabus is bit revised the questions pattern that appear in the examinations they change so we according to that situation we have changed our own syllabuses and according to the most important and updated exam that are been asked in the recent times okay so we have framed in that way so here every topic okay so that is from every subject like quantitative aptitude reasoning english banking awareness and all the subjects has been done in the same fashion now personal care or personal attention is been taken especially for the banking aspirants okay so some of the banking aspirants those who have not very well in the maths and all so those will be taken with some basic care so those students will be taught from the basic level and they will be brought up to a one particular level some additional worksheets will be given to them to just better their okay basic things result oriented so in our classic education from every batch okay 10 to 12 students have taken the opportunity okay and they have cracked the jobs okay in the banking sectors uh, from every okay batch 10 to 12 students have been succeeded now in the recent karnataka bank examinations now they have called for the interviews and most of the students from our classic education okay from our uh, institute most of the students have been selected for the interviews and uh, recently in the last week we had conducted okay mock interviews also for the karnataka bank aspirants those who have qualified for the interviews and not only the students from classic isnk study circle also from the students who have qualified that exam okay so even those students were given opportunity to attend the mock interviews that means basically what i have written here is prelims plus mains plus interviews that means we not only give the guidance for the prelims examination we also give guidance for the mains as well as for the interview so free mock interviews will be available okay in our institute we will be training the aspirants okay according to the requirement now in the recent karnataka bank interviews also and here uh, in the interviews and all so those persons who have already serving in that particular post so we had called managers okay of ibps matlab in ibps what all banks are being there so we have called the research persons okay those who have already been succeeded those who have already at a good position in those banks so those persons those resource persons were called okay to take the interviews of our student so these facility is available in our classic model test now talking about test you all know that banking examination okay the speed is to be needed the speed is needed is more compared to any other examinations so here 
we have to practice we have to understand the concepts along with that we have to practice a lot and along with that okay we have to be very good in calculation part so here in the model test from every subject okay after completion of a three to four topics there will be one test conducted and after the completing of the syllabus there will be some complete model test okay on the entire subject as per the requirement of the examination and those tests will be given to you around three to four tests will be conducted of complete syllabus and once when the syllabus is completed once when the syllabus is completed in the offline mode it doesn't mean that okay that our relation and students relation is ended so once when they go home and they prepare wherever they are preparing so once when they are preparing in their journey so on every sunday basis we are going to keep online test series for them so those test series will be probably on sunday and that will be av available in our classic education app so these are the facult these are the facilities that we are going to provide in our classic now coming to the faculties so those who are going to teach okay so here are the faculties those who are going to teach for the banking examination so, so first one is khan katimani sir who is having 25 years plus of years of experience okay and he will be teaching you english and we have another teacher varun sir who is having 10 plus years of teaching experience in the banking sectors only and he has been teaching he has been serving in the classic itself and he will be teaching okay a test of reasoning then comes navin kumar sir who will be teaching okay general awareness that is banking awareness i have observed most of the times that uh, some of the students they take bank coaching from some institute and later they not get satisfied so they join our institute and during the interaction time so they have told me that for banking awareness we are being given with only notes so we are not taught this a subject but you see in general awareness it is a mains level topic mains level subject and there are certain things which we cannot understand by reading we have to understand someone has to teach us for those things the concepts should be clear in banking awareness so here we have made a okay separate classes for it and navin kumar sir will be teaching you those subject then comes uh, uday nadigiri sir who will be teaching you computer awareness okay then uh, sanjay patil sir who will be te teaching you economics and uh, myself mahesh pundivish i will be teaching you quantitative aptitude right so these are the teachers and here what is the pattern for the examination on the general basis i am talking so on the general basis you will be having english quantitative aptitude and test of reasoning so almost it is here you will be having 30 questions and you will be given with 20 minutes so here you will be having 35 questions and here you will be given okay 20 minutes okay and here also you will be having 35 questions and here you will be given 20 minutes i am talking about general banking examinations okay it can be sba ibps also but in ibps rrb okay you will not be having english subject only quantitative aptitude and test of reasoning will be there okay so depending upon the examinations requirement these are the major subjects for your prelims examination and let me talk a bit about uh, my subject that is quantitative aptitude you see in a quantitative aptitude if you go through the syllabus properly then in detail there are around 23 sub uh, 23 topics okay but all these 23 topics are not important for the examinations and one thing you have all have to understand that 35 questions and 20 minutes means if you are promising yourself to attend all the questions then you see approximately you need 34 seconds of time to solve one question one thing you all have to understand you have to work smart here you have to attempt the exam in a smart manner all 35 questions that come in the examination are not meant to be attempted there are some questions which are to be left you have to understand this point 
right so uh, there are some fixed questions you can say in quantitative aptitude there are some fixed questions like simplification so you will be having 10 questions here from quadratic equations you will be having five questions here from number series you will be having five questions here from data interpretation you will be having five to ten questions here so depending upon the okay these are the topics which are going to come in your examination 100 percent sure okay sometimes what happens from quadratic equation and from number series either of the value will be given matlab quadratic equation five questions if there are number series will not be there matlab approximately you say out of this 35 questions 20 questions are going to or 20 marks are going to come from the these four topics generally i am talking so here to qualify the prelims especially from the quantity to aptitude part okay so these four topics will give you 20 marks now general cutoff you might have seen okay around 25 to 28 it varies in this or sometimes even it will be less than that so that means from the remaining topics okay you have to approximately suppose if it is of 20 marks approximately you have to get 15 marks from it so there are certain topics like time and work pipes and cistern okay then speed time and distance train boat and streams where you don't require okay much a thing you need to just do the calculation part right so in this way you can study smartly so all these approaches perfectly what is required what exactly is required for your banking examination only those things banking means exactly only preparation for the banking okay so exactly banking preparation will be done here with the most updated syllabus right now here is the mains examination okay this i have written it with respect to okay sbipo okay but it will change okay let me tell you from exam to exam it will change in uh, some of the examination data interpretation will be included in the maths itself but this is the general syllabus is a general subject given for the sbi examination so it varies according to the preparation so here we will tell you what exactly once you qualify the prelims examination how to prepare for the mains examination right see in mains examination definitely the level of questions that are going to appear will be difficult okay but there are certain things which you need to do like computer awareness that is banking awareness english suppose if you score the maximum marks from this part okay and the requirement marks from the english and quant section definitely you will get selected okay so here even in the data interpretation or in the maths data interpretation will be having more weightage but you see when the data interpretation is having more weightage it does not mean that you will study only data interpretation because in data interpretation only there are certain questions which are related to a certain topic now for example time and work in 2020 means that is 19th means examination there was one question that in data interpretation he had given a circle here okay a pie chart okay where he had given a will do 20 percent of the work b will do 30 percent of the work c will do okay 40 percent of the work and so on and there there was a line graph given to me and telling that how much minutes of time it will take so here it is 20 minutes okay 30 minutes okay 50 minutes and so on so on the comparison of this there were some five question asked now if you don't know the concept of time and work and if you are just doing the data interpretation this is of no use right so you have to understand the topics also so these are the few things which i wanted to tell you and lastly okay lastly what i want to tell you is on this sunday you are having an examination where absolutely if you get selected okay so you will be given with free coaching okay no charges no fees will be taken for you for the education purpose so complete course of banking examinations will be given to you so don't miss this opportunity okay so just download our app classic education app register yourself okay and you will be intimated with the rest of the procedure right now before we go as i am a quantitative aptitude teacher so here is one question which had come in the okay ibps mains examination in 2019 okay so the question is after traveling 80 kilometers a train meets with an accident and then proceeds at 3 by 4th of its original speed okay so 3 by 4th of its original speed 
and arrives its destiny 35 minutes late. So it is late by 35 minutes. Had the accident occurred 24 kilometer further, it would have reached the destination 25 minutes late. Now find the original speed, find the original speed of the train. So this is the question asked. Now once if you see the options 50, 48, 30, 55 and 51, okay, then this question if you solve it normally, okay, then it will take some time, but it can be solved in 30 seconds, there is no doubt in that. But this particular question which had come in the examination, I think 5 seconds is more than sufficient to answer this question, based on the option method. Now see here, before I directly tell you what is the answer, one small thing that you have to understand, those who have uh, not gone through the concept, those who have not understood, whenever there is a fraction written to me, let us say A by B, suppose there is a fraction written to me in the form A by B, then this denominator will represent two things, always the denominator will represent two things, either it will represent initial value or it will represent total quantity. Now for example, this question you might have answered in your schooling days that there is a circle which is cut into four equal parts and suppose if you have taken one part of it then how much part you have taken when this question was asked you all said that I have taken one by fourth part of it. What you exactly said is you just try to read this fraction one by four. One by four means what? There are total four parts in which you have taken one part. That means here in this particular case that is 1 by 4, the denominator represented the total quantity. So how many parts are there? Totally there are 4 parts. So denominator will represent only two things. Either it will represent the total quantity or it will represent the initial value. Now what is initial value? Let me take one example here. Let us say that there is a number and that number is increased by 20% of itself and then it becomes 360. Now if you solve this then you need two steps to answer this. But suppose if you solve this it in this way that is 6 by 5 is equal to 360 then this will get cancelled and if you multiply it will become 300. So the value is 300. One step by using the same concept. That means here the phi the denominator indicated the initial value. That means the initial value was 5 units when it is increased by 20% of itself then it becomes 6 units. So 6 units value is 360, so 5 units value is what? So in this way, in this particular example, the denominator represented the initial value. Now come to this question. Now if you read the question carefully, then he is telling me that train has met with an accident and then okay, proceed at 3 by 4th of its original speed. That means if its original speed is 4 units, now it is running with 3 units. Are you understanding my point? That means now the question is asked what is the original speed of the train? That means original speed of the train should be multiple of 4 and there is only one option which is multiple of 4. So this will be your answer. Now most of the students will be having the doubt that if two options are present which are multiple of 4, what to do sir? Okay, so tell me what will be the solution for this. Okay, so we will discuss this particular problem in our offline batches. Hope we see, we will meet soon in our offline batches. So till then, take care. Wish you all a very best of luck.